To use non-Epson medias with the latest generation SureColor P and T-Series printers, go to the media manufacturer's website and download the appropriate EMX file. To load an EMX file into Epson Media Installer, click on the Import icon. Locate the EMX file, highlight it, and click Open. The EMX file is now loaded into Epson Media Installer. It will show as registered, it can be removed, but at this point it is not editable. If you want to edit the mechanical parameters set in the EMX file, it would need to first be copied. You can copy it by pressing the copy icon. The copied EMX, which will have the word copy in parentheses, now shows registered and it can be edited as well as removed. And to edit this copied EMX, go to the edit icon. And here you can make any adjustments to the mechanical parameters or add a custom profile. If an EMX file is not available, you'll have to create an EMY file. The first step under the Media Management tab is to select a base media. The base media should be selected based on what media was chosen by the media manufacturer when they built their profile. With the media that we'll be using, that manufacturer used Velvet Fine Art. So select Velvet Fine Art. Now select the copy icon. Now we have a copy of the Velvet Fine Art paper setting, and we see that it is registered, and now it's editable, and it's also removable. So we want to edit this by clicking on Edit. Working from the top down and left to right, the first thing to do is to name the media. Moving down to media type, Velvet Fine Art is a fine art paper, meaning it's on a thick base and it uses matte black ink. But it's always good to check to make sure that you're in the right setting or if you're making your own custom media type. Photo paper would be for papers using photo black ink. Proofing paper is for those working on CMYK. Matte paper it tends to be a thinner base using matte black ink. The fine art paper will be using canvas, plain paper, and others. The platen gap should be based on the thickness of the media. For medias that are 0.20 millimeters to 0.30 millimeters, the correct platen gap is 1.6. Medias that are 0.30 millimeters to 0.34 millimeters, the correct platen gap is 2.1. And medias that are 0.35 millimeters to 0.80 millimeters, the correct platen gap is 2.4. Drying time per pass and drying time per page should be left at zero unless you have a specific application where dry times need to be increased. Roll tension is also based on the thickness of the media. For medias that are 0.20 millimeters to 0.44 millimeters, this should be set to standard. For medias that are 0.45 millimeters to 0.80 millimeters, this should be set to high. The paper suction settings are also based on the thickness of the media, and roll papers often have a different thickness than cut sheet papers. Since we're working with a roll paper, we'll make a setting here. Medias that are 0.20 millimeters to 0.30 millimeters have a paper suction of zero. Medias that are 0.31 millimeters to 0.44 millimeters have a suction of one. Medias that are 0.45 millimeters to 0.80 millimeters, the suction should be set to two. For many thick fine art medias, we recommend unchecking skew reduction to prevent unneeded warnings for skew error. Input the paper thickness either by measuring the thickness of the paper with a micrometer or by looking at the manufacturer's specifications. This manufacturer specifies the thickness in mils, not in millimeters. It's very easy to make that conversion with an online calculator, and the mils for this particular paper are 22.5, which converts to 0.57 millimeters. It's very important to have the zero and the decimal point to avoid any errors. Moving over to the right side, Top margin is essentially the leading edge of the paper. For medias that are 0.30 millimeters to 0.39 millimeters, the correct setting is 20. For medias that are 0.40 millimeters to 0.80 millimeters, the top margin should be set to 45. Leave bottom margin at the default of 15, and we recommend for thick fine art medias to uncheck lateral feed adjustment. Leave margin between pages at the default, and there are two selections for auto cut to follow the paper source setting set in the driver, or to never cut. Many who work with thick fine art medias prefer to select never cut and then cut from the control panel on the printer. 
It's recommended that the paper eject roller should be set to auto, but if you ever see star wheel marks on a print, then select do not use and keep paper size checked at the default. While paper feed offset can be set in Epson Media Installer, we recommend leaving this at the default and do the paper feed offset settings directly on the control panel of the printer. This particular media uses a three inch roll core diameters. Some medias are two, this one is three. And moving into the profile section, we want to select the profile provided by the media manufacturer or a custom profile that you may have had made by clicking Browse. Select the profile provided by the media manufacturer or a custom profile. Click Open, and the profile is now connected to the mechanical parameters for the custom media. If you're not doing any type of CMYK work, it's fine to leave this alone. No need to set a CMYK profile. Now click OK. An Epson Media Installer will now synchronize with the control panel of the printer and the driver. When complete, the new media will be selectable on the printer. And finally, when printing, select the media type in the driver, and all the mechanical parameters will automatically be set in the printer. Ensure the media type is set on both the driver and the printer control panel.